hotties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. But if you're new, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today is going to be a little different. I've been getting a lot of questions on the internet asking me how have I been doing mentally. Okay, mentally, at first, it was kind of rocky, right? But as of now, I am doing fantastic, y'all. Listen, I started on some new medication probably about six or seven months ago. Um, with my migraines, it has really helped them tremendously. With my seizures and passing out and with the paralysis that I get, it has helped tremendously, y'all. But I just really wanted to get on here and kind of vent. Um, I don't want to start crying or anything. But y'all just don't know everything that I've been through. For the past couple years, I've been through so 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 much stuff y'all like y'all will never understand what i've been through i really want to get on here and thank my family um of course my boyfriend is considered my family but when i say my family make sure that y'all include my boyfriend and that my best friends like i just want to thank everybody because the process has not been easy y'all it has not been easy my plan was not to get on here and cry, but the process has not been easy. I want to give a special shout out to my best friend. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had the job that I have today. As of right now, I have a job, y'all. <laughs> I have a job, y'all. But I remember at this time last year, I was not able to work. Lord, I don't want to cry. This time last year, I was not able to work, y'all. I was bed bound. I was real sick. I was having seizures. I was getting the paralysis. Um, I was having migraines every day. I'm trying to get it together. Give me a minute, y'all. I pray for days like this. Y'all don't understand because y'all don't know. I've been through so freaking much, y'all. I've been through so much. I promise y'all, I thank Jehovah every day. I've just been through so much. And I just can't believe, like, how strong of a person that I really am. Sometimes I sit and think, and I'm like, dang, like, I really did this. This really happening to me. Like, how? I'm so little. I'm this itty-bitty woman in this world, and I'm having so much stuff going on going on but yet and still i'm still pushing and i want to tell the individuals that have health issues or that may be going through something critical or just something period i just want to tell you don't give up there was so many times that i was like dang like am i gonna ever get out of this funk are my migraines and seizures gonna ever stop um I just used to question myself, you know, sometimes I used to question God and ask him, you know, like, what's going on? Like, is this life meant for me? Sometimes I just, I just used to question him and I know you should never question Jehovah, but I just used to question him so much because I used to be dealing with so much stuff and I just thank him every, like I say, I know I said it before, <laughs> I pray for days like this. I really pray for days like this. I remember talking to my mom and I was like, um, do you think I'll ever grow out of this? I'm not gonna even lie. A lot of people be saying like, they're not close with their family, but I'm, I'm so thankful that my family and I are really close because if it wasn't for my family, I don't know. I might would have given up because it's, I'm not gonna say that I'm just this strong individual and I don't need to hear strong, encouraging words because that's not true. It's a lot of days where I fell down and I was like, dang, like, I know life is precious and I know that there are other people in the world that go through more things than I do, but like, sometimes you just get tired. I remember a lot of days when I was so tired and I was just like, dang, like, I remember saying some of the most craziest things sometimes y'all don't judge me but like sometimes when you be sick like people just don't understand 
yeah, like you just be mentally and physically tired. Like, don't nobody really understand unless you're that person and you're in that person's body. I know I used to push myself some days to do stuff. Even when it was just simple things like cooking and cleaning, I would push myself to do those things. And I knew that I didn't feel like doing them, but I used to push myself to do them. And I'm just happy that I have the family and the boyfriend. Remember, my boyfriend is my family, so don't exclude him but i'm so happy that i have the family that i have y'all like they never gave up on me and i cannot forget about my best friends but y'all here's Bay. y'all remember when we first got together and i didn't want to tell him about my illness because i thought you know like if i tell him about my illness you know he might leave and you know may say that sometimes you feel like a burden and i remember when we was in the hospital and he prayed for me. And I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. And my intentions was not to get on here and cry. It's just I've been through so much. I've been through so much. And I promise he get on my nerves, y'all, but I'm gonna have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. I remember being afraid to say how I felt. I remember being afraid to say that I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. I remember being afraid to say so much stuff to him because I thought that I was gonna be a burden on him. And up until this day, he has not changed. As far as, like, with my illness, like, he's always there. He can be far out. And I can tell him, like, hey, babe, I don't feel good. And he coming home. That's something that everybody should want, like, in a partner. You want your significant other to be there for you. Let me get it together, y'all. Because I've just been crying. Let me get it together. I'm sorry, y'all, but. But y'all, I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and vent and just really tell y'all how I feel. And throughout this process, I've learned so much about me. I've learned that I'm a strong individual. I've learned that I don't give up. I don't give up easily. I've learned that always keep your faith. I've learned that I should always be positive. I've learned that every day is not going to be a good day. And even like until this day, my migraines have become so light. So sometimes they are non-existent. Now I'm not going to get on here and say that I don't have migraines at all because I do. Like two days ago, I had a very bad migraine, but... I would take that compared to having a migraine every day and compared to having seizures every day. I would really take that. Like, that, that's just one, you know what I'm saying? But I just learned so much about myself. And most importantly, the man above. When I tell y'all, like, I could be feeling so bad and like my family will get up through the middle of the night. It don't matter if it's two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Like my parents, boyfriend, whatever. Whoever at the house get up for me, give me my medication. And you know, just just do what they you know need to do for me. But enough of the sad talk. Y'all, we are going out of town. Y'all know how we do. We go out of town every year in July on um, for family vacation and I'm real excited about that because I'm gonna be working and I'm gonna have my money saved up and you know like it just feel like a new leap because I'm finna be working and like I'm gonna have my own money so it seems like now I'm coming into adulthood if y'all get what I'm saying like you finna go okay 
I know that I've been into a dude who, but like when you're sick and you can't, and you can't work and you can't do certain things, and then you finally able to do certain things, you be freaking excited because I'm so excited to go to work. Like I've been waiting on my background check to come. I'm like, when is my background check coming? Like, yeah, they got my background check yet. What y'all waiting on? Like, what they waiting on, y'all? But like, I'm so excited. For the record, we're going to Kiss Me, Florida. We're gonna have fun. We go, of course, we're gonna go to Orlando. We're gonna have a ball. If y'all wanna see a vlog of that, make sure y'all leave me a comment and tell me vlog family vacation because I don't mind vlogging it. But even if y'all don't wanna see it, guess what? Your girl gonna vlog it anyway. But y'all, I really just got on here to just really talk about how I feel. I haven't did a video in a while, so I know it may be kind of touchy, but it's okay you know sometimes things be like that but this concludes my video before you leave make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel and if you not subscribe to my channel what are you doing what are you doing why aren't you subscribed to my channel but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye